I were to tell you that I'm moving again, would you be confused, concerned, lost? I know. It's officially that time of year again. I'm coming to you with no makeup. Literally the worst form of loungewear in the world. My hair needs to be washed. It's been two and a half weeks. I move in two days and not a single thing in this apartment has been packed. Can you see what might be the problem here? Now, this is not my first time moving. This is not my first rodeo. This is like my third, my fourth time moving. And for some reason, this time does not feel hard at all. Like I'm not stressed about it at all. I'm gonna give you an overview of my apartment right now. This is my kitchen. Dirty clothes that I'm gonna have to wash. Um, My kitchen is basically still intact. There's literally stuff everywhere. This is from breakfast this morning. Probably more stuff that's one box filled that doesn't really matter. There's really stuff everywhere. Not a thing has changed. Like don't even get me started about behind this couch. My bathroom? Not a single. Not a single thing that matters is put away. I'm not about to sit up here and lie and be like, yeah, I have a plan for how I'm gonna pack all this stuff, da, 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 cause I don't. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in boxes and hope for the best. Everything is still out and it needs to get put away starting today. So let's go ahead, bust open these boxes and let's get to work. I am giving myself two days to do this. Last year when I moved to this apartment, I gave myself a year, but then again, I had no furniture, not a lot of stuff when I moved here last time. So this might be a little different. All for today is just to get started. We are going to have to use the tables boxes first. Uh, because I don't have any packing stuff. You never make me stay, so take your weight off of me. I know your every move, so won't you just let me be? I've been here times before, but I was too blind to see that you seduce every man. This time you seduce me, just saying that's okay. Hey, baby, do what you please. As I fold and put my shirts in a box, I'm just gonna talk to y'all. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna leave in, but I'm for a treat because there's a lot of stuff in here. I feel like one of those people who are like, oh my god, girl, I feel like you just moved here. Da -da -da. My lease was only for a year. I'm not staying. And it's not because I don't like my apartment complex, but it's simply because I outgrew this place so fast. Y'all can pretty much see <laughs> how much I grew into this place. My closet is a prime example. I literally have like no space in this apartment left for anything. So I came in here with like not that much and I'm leaving with a lot. I am upgrading into more space. I had some pretty good things happen in this apartment and pretty bad things happen in this apartment. Um, so I'm kind of ready to just like let it go because I feel like this is like a perfect representation of like who I'm not anymore i feel like i just grew so much here i feel like a lot of dead things to me are gonna be left when i officially move out of here and i'm just very excited because being so confined to like such a small place like my space is like 710 square feet something around there so seeing like the same little 700 square feet every single day and me having to live like you know it did get kind of small i felt extremely safe here and my rent was only 1560 for a one bed one bath and for charlotte baby that's the cheapest I've heard in a while, considering I live downtown too. So I guess now that like technically since I'm moving, I guess I can say like where I live. If you live in Charlotte, I lived in the Noda area. <laughs> I have always talked about how much I love Noda. So when I saw like this apartment complex, how good their rent was for like the space and then the amenities that they had, I was like, let me find this lease. So I lived in Noda for a year and let me just say, it's definitely worth the hype. As much as it costs to live downtown now, if you ever want to live on like one of the outer skirts that are like right by downtown, which is like what I did but like literally I'm like two lights away from downtown which is why I say I lived in downtown but yeah I definitely feel like I got my money's worth I was able to experience so many new things try so many new places and everything is so close like Noda is a uh, North Davidson Street like that area it's very artsy like lots of coffee shops cafes stuff like that I would say it's probably one of my favorite like I don't want to say boroughs but I'm gonna say pockets of Charlotte uh, the people are so nice I'm getting lazy with folding these shirts so I'm kind of just throwing them in there but yeah i'm very excited to like start this new chapter in my life i really think this type of change is gonna be good for me and i'm gonna be an adult adult after this week um and i'm kind of scared i'm not gonna lie to you closet all my clothes are off the hangers except well not i don't know how i forgot this little corner right here but i have been tight if i close this little box up and i did not put this stuff so i tell him it's one of me he making fun of me his girl is a bum of me the next day and I am currently sitting in the Home Depot parking lot because I was gonna go yesterday but I did not feel like it and now I'm going to pay for that in time because it's 10 30 a.m. 10 27 to be specific and I have yet to pack anything from yesterday pa pa post, po post yesterday 
after our little session yeah yes we're here at home depot because i need more boxes because apparently i have a lot of things and we're just gonna get a bunch of boxes a lot of packing materials and everything like that so i'm not gonna waste your time and explain why we're here anymore because i feel like i've said it five thousand times and yeah let's go get these packing supplies and let's get the day started because i have somewhere to be at three i signed the paperwork today for my new place at four like it's just back to back to back mess but let's head inside shall we My other resties are back there. It's not even that hot outside and I'm panting. Goodness gracious. I did in fact come inside with the bag, the paper that I bought and the storage container just to put my camera up so y'all can see me when I come back inside. Can't say I'm never dedicated. Okay, we are back at the crib ski. Before I start packing anything, I've made the executive decision that I'm going to put away the stuff I need today, clothes wise, shower wise, hygiene wise, just all of that between today and tomorrow morning in a suitcase because if it's not in that suitcase, it's going to get packed up because I just, I don't want to leave anything anywhere and then scrambling starts and all that rah rah and I just, I can't, I literally just can't deal with it it's it's too much so we're gonna pack a suitcase first for today and tomorrow uh i do need an outfit for today for my little thing that i have but i have to go through the pile of clean clothes that is available and make something because oh my goodness we're just gonna have to make something work <gasps> oh my god Stuff is put to the side. Let's go ahead and start doing some actual packing. I'm trying to figure out where I want to start, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly where I want to start. We have a lot to do in a very, 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 very little amount of time. I'm going to pack as much as I can, um, probably up until a lunchtime. I don't know what lunchtime we're talking about here, but we're going to pack up until some sort of time. I'm going to say like 1, because it's 11.38 right now. And I think that's a good time. I think I can get a lot done in that time. If I can get the tape ruler going. Date as to uh, you know where we kind of left off I left you off at a really like beginner point but I really just need to start packing the stuff because I think I just kind of the conclusion that I'm gonna put the packing in moving portion of this video into maybe one video it really just depends on how everything flows I'll show you what I have done so far so the entertainment center is coming along well I started this only thing that's there is me and my boyfriend's playstations a few cable wires the Wi-Fi box and just stuff that's gonna be in the decoration box and then this as well that I'm probably gonna bring today because I am going to see it for the first time today well it's not the first time it's gonna be like the second second time since it's been fully like done but anyway okay we have a lot of boxes this is my what is this this is my like gadget box where all like my equipment is at I have a bunch of boxes of books clothes everything this is my photography gadget box specifically for photo and videography more boxes my vinyls are there I'm gonna use this as my Christmas box because I have a bunch of Christmas decorations my trees literally still up and I have a bunch of decorations in this box that need a home I'm not just gonna keep it in there because I'm gonna have somewhere to put them now cleared out the coats and sweatshirts that were in here because there were in fact some in there clothes that I'm washing I'm just throwing on here and I'm gonna get them all in one box this is completely empty my nightstand is completely empty and then that little shelf is completely empty if I were to put like a number label on it I'd have to say I'm like 40% done because I still have to do the kitchen my closet my bathroom my room is pretty much there yeah I'm like 40 45% done I have to head to the final walkthrough today and the final thing where I sign everything today you guys will be coming because this is definitely 
a different process for me. I never thought I'd be doing this this soon. Yeah, so I am gonna keep on pushing. I was gonna play The Sims for a little bit, but I just got off the phone with Duke Energy. They just tried to sell me like 5,000 different thing and all I wanted was to move my power from here to over there but whatever that settled my Wi-Fi is set to move services tomorrow so I have to be there tomorrow early like 10 o'clock a lot happening within the next couple days we're moving tomorrow afternoon I have to be there tomorrow morning for the Wi-Fi I might ask my boyfriend to help me do a little empty home tour something like that I'm kind of tiptoeing around like if I want to say where I'm moving because I'm not sure how these videos are gonna lay out yet but you know we'll see so I'm gonna try to do something with myself because I have to leave here at like 2 30 yeah, so literally in like an hour, four, I have to be there at three. So I'm excited. Everything is happening. We were supposed to do this originally like February 10th, but there's been delays with shipping and then stuff. And it's just, that y'all understand in a second whenever I decide to explain what's going on. So yeah, it's very exciting to pack my car up a little bit. I'm going to bring a few stuff over today. So technically we're starting to move today, but not the big stuff, but I wanted a good move. My head kind of hurts. I don't know why. I think all the moving around and like lifting stuff really makes my head hurt. It happened last year. I decided I am just going to, in fact, what I have on. I literally have on sweats and a t-shirt. I'm gonna put on a different t-shirt. This is what y'all are gonna get from me. I'm sorry. Like this is this is as good as you're gonna get. I got these sweats from Urban Outfitters. Surprisingly, they fit me damn near perfectly. And they're so flattering. Definitely will be ordering more. These are champion, by the way. I'm gonna go back to recording me packing because y'all literally missed so much. <laughs> like this is what we did yesterday, which is mainly the closet clothes. This is from today. I have to say, I think it's about the same amount of stuff, but they're just divided up differently. But y'all, we're getting there. I didn't think I was gonna be able to move this fast, but I surprise myself every time I have to move. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna fold under pressure and do amazing every time. I ain't mad at him, baby. If I sent you out, me to a beat, boy, you crazy. Diamond and the rough, you look as good as open. Y'all know my head was hurting, right? And because my head was hurting, I decided to take some ibuprofen. I saw my sister take like a Tylenol, like extreme. I saw my sister, sorry for the angle, her clothes. I saw my sister take like a Tylenol extreme in a hole yesterday, or not yesterday, like a couple days ago, Saturday, Friday, something like that. And when I tell you, I've never been able to take pills until I saw that little girl do it. Mind you, she's 16, but I've never been able to take pills until I seen that little girl do it. She is the moment, she is the inspiration. I'm getting my filming equipment, we're about to head out. Um, I think when we go, I'm gonna bring my big bag of vinyls just to get them over there safely so you don't get crushed during the move. Something tells me men don't pay attention. Um, And yeah, I'm literally wearing Crocs. Now I'm gonna wear my Converse, not Crocs. About to throw these suckers back on and we're about to had to do some paperwork, y'all. And I have three boxes, like small size boxes in the car. So I think I'm gonna try to bring like one more because I feel like small boxes aren't like a waste of space, but they could always be used in a different way. I'm over here thinking like I have just today to do this, knowing gonna want my boyfriend's gonna be here tonight helping me. So what I might ask him to do is put the small boxes in his car because his car is bigger than mine. He has a key. I don't need to do with this all today. We're only bringing a little bit of stuff over there. Nothing crazy. Um, Just so you know, get things moving. ID in the tote. Is she here? She's here. Because this is gonna be y'all's first time seeing it. Y'all kind of got a little snippet uh, last video. You only saw it if you watched till the end. So <sighs> I'm getting excited. Hope my head doesn't start hurting. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go. <laughs> So page one, I really just have to review everything, make sure it looks good to you guys. So sales price, loan amount, interest rate, principal and interest. So this is just, you got keys. So they're in here. Yay. You're going to tell me how many you got. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then sign and date. And you are all done. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> some pictures out in the lobby. We have like some props you can hold up. Sure. And She's moving on Wednesday. Yeah, we're back with, we're just pulling up to her house to carry in a few things that I had in the car with her. Yeah. I was just doing some last minute packing that I should have did last night. And I was about to take this down and it's about to be the end of an era. Oh shit. There's tape behind here? It's done, like we're done. Oh 
Um, we're currently here at the house, waiting for the Wi-Fi to be installed. And I'm just gonna let him out so he can play, um, cause he wants to see everything very badly. Hi. <laughs> Currently, I'm gonna be mini bedrooms. Thinking desk, day bed, camera storage, decor. Three, my IQ is average. There's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me. I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. She mad at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. She mad at my niggas, she mad at her ignorance, she wear a heart on the sleeve. She mad at the celebrity. Come on, bub. You can come in and out as you. Now, I ain't gonna tell me to think I'm a bug criticism. So when I see something that's valid, I listen to shit. It's something about it. We don't be bothering me. She strike me if somebody left enough. Because we had AT&T before. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is that your tummy growling? Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. We have Wi-Fi. Yeah, we're back at the house now because we still have more packing to do. It's almost as if it's never gonna end. But finally, after three months, the tree is down from Christmas. The Christmas stuff is officially put away. I'm about to start the kitchen. My dad just texted me. One second. He said, "Good afternoon, homeowner. <laughs> ah, congratulations. How does it feel, sweetheart?" Super slay if you ask me. Let's go back to the apartment and we're gonna start moving, y'all. If I could pick it up with one hand, I could just slide it up. My friend's beach card. <laughs> You look like a mom. Um. <laughs> mom court. With this new house? No socks with the Uggs is really tying it all together. <laughs> I'm reporting you to DCF. I mean. DCF? <laughs> 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 After seven hours of hard labor, we're moved in. It's a room full of boxes that we have to go through. <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing fits anybody. Where is that thing that says dresser? That's where. <laughs> Just bathed for the first time in my new home. And I am gonna show you the state of the room because like you could already kind of see. There's a door to the room, boxes, just kind of stuff everywhere. Cashew got comfortable pretty fast. We have this 
bad, you know. Stuff is just kind of my slippers for when I walk around the house because I still don't have any house shoes. Shout out to Nia. Yes, girl, I still have these. Today was a big day. Like, there's literally just stuff everywhere. Just sprayed down the bed with the antibacterial, like, chargers hanging out the wall for the mattress on the floor because I never found a headboard in time. Like, this is very new homeowner on brand. <laughs> the closet, like, there's hangers just in trash bags. Like, there's just kind of stuff everywhere. Thank you. I love how you know how to use a camera. She's a seasoned professional. It's recording, right? Yeah. Casho, I think we have a guest. Hi. Wow. Sorry. You're gonna ruin it. My dog's a yapper. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Don't bark in the mic. You're gonna scare the people. Hi. Hello. Let me close the door for you. Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You thought I was gonna end this video without a some sort of not so empty, empty house tour. Y'all are insane. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of my favorite features of the house, not the entire floor plan, because who cares? You might, but I sure don't. Downstairs floor is really gonna be like the media esque area of a bathroom here, which is probably gonna be used as like a film bathroom, because you know, brand deals. I have an office down here. Like I said, this is a not so empty, empty house tour because we did already in fact move in you guys are literally watching that exact same video so this is the office space it's huge i would like to say this is my cool thermostat on this thermostat it's so high tech i don't know how to use it um <laughs> but the house stays on 69 cool and heat if you were curious and a cool thing about this is that every single floor has one of these thermostats it's giving new money okay yes let's Let's continue our journey upstairs. Wow. We're now on the second floor of the house. This is the main slash common areas. That's pretty much it. I have a living room over here. I'm standing in where a dining table will be put. The selling point of this house for me was in fact this kitchen. Come, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on over. <laughs> Sorry, we're having some lighting difficulties because there's just so much natural light in this house. The camera wants to focus on the sun and not me. Welcome to my beautiful kitchen. Now, I don't know if the lens is picking up the entire width of the kitchen, is it, or no? No, um, if I had my different lens on it, y'all be able to see the entire thing. But this is in fact my kitchen. As you can see, there's a bunch of storage. It has the gray color scheme, really modern, everything like that with kind of a, I wanna say like farmhouse feel. Well, I don't know house design, so who knows what I'm talking about. Let me put him down. I don't know why I still had him in my hands. I do in fact have a gas stove now. And if you don't know what that is, it is in fact, yeah, baby, we cooking with fire. We cooking with fire, like, yeah. So, all you hear is the nothing else. This kitchen did come with a gas stove. I used to have a gas stove in my childhood home. I've had like cooktops for as long as I can remember, but having a gas stove just feels really adult. If you will, yeah, like we have a shaking of the head behind the camera, like, yeah, like Maya gets it. Baby, trash and recycle fits inside the cabinet. <laughs> no more clunky, ugly, big, funky trash cans. Tell me why this sink came with a soap pumper. I didn't put the soap in it yet, but it has a soap pumper. So like if I wanna put dish soap in here, I can, which I need to do. All this stuff is brand new. How about Nagalia? First of all, why is your oven not attached to your stove top? I don't know, I didn't build the house. I'm just here for the vibes. This is an oven, it's brand new. It's so new that it has that weird smell when you get a new oven, yep. This. This is a dual microwave, microwave oven system. I've never had anything this nice in my life. If you're confused on how this is a microwave, yeah, baby, <laughs> it's a microwave. <laughs> and it's weird because on the thing, there's like, if you go to like each setting, the oven or whatever. So if I wanna use the microwave and I turn the microwave on, there's like different cooking methods, bake, broil, keep warm. There's like assisted cooking where it literally, oh wait, this is for the oven. But anyway, it has assisted things for what you're making. Like you cannot be serious. And everything is touch screen. So when it comes to like the microwave, it'll have like the thing on there. But the cool, th this isn't even the gag. We're about to get to the gag. The heart's right there. If I click the heart, why is there setting favorites with the microwave? This gagged me a bit. You be pooping? You don't wanna talk to the people? Okay. <laughs> the bedrooms are here. It's probably the most boring floor in my opinion. I have a laundry room, nobody cares. Um, here's my room. <laughs> Come on in. She's a mess. The mattress. Huh? Did you show them the blinds? How you? 
Oh, Maya was, <laughs> Maya's making sure we get all the features, okay? Let me show y'all in a second. This is all natural light from this room. There's four windows in here. But the gaggery of it is, these blinds. The what? <laughs> of it all. These blinds came with the house. I didn't have to buy these. Instead of pulling and fan dangling with those damn strings. Let me stop before I tear them up. You literally just pull them up and down and they'll stay at that length. It's giving gossip girl money. Blair Waldorf would like it here if she was here in today's age, don't you think? <laughs> We're in my bathroom. It's a show in here as well. This is the nicest bathroom. Doors open. This is <laughs> this is probably the nicest bathroom I've ever had. Whenever somebody does not have a bathtub in their bathroom, I just know you own this house and anybody who comes to see you is a guest. Because I do have a guest bathroom, I have two guest rooms, and that has a tub in it. Because you know, what if you have kids, blah, blah, blah. But this is the owner's shower. Maybe it's glass. You come in here and it's a sauna. You know how I know it's a sauna? Because there's a seat. There's a wi a window in the bathroom you can laugh it's funny <laughs> there's a step in shower there's a seat in the shower this bathroom could literally probably turn into a sauna i know it can because i almost did it this morning on accident i was in the shower for so long washing doing my thing in the shower there's two glass shelves pre-built into here you know what this means i can't clutter up my shower even if i wanted to this is what we call good health and self-control we move to the sinks they're so messy I, <laughs> this sink has so much storage. First of all, it's two sinks. Each sink has under the sink storage and then drawers in the middle. The amount of things I can do with customization for these drawers is sickening. Just to top it all off. We're entering another room that's attached to this bathroom. Let's cut the light on. Oh, that's the fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously still learning the light switches, but let's, let's, let's cut the light on. I feel like Ava. Principal Coleman. Baby, we have a separate. We have <laughs> the poopery. <laughs> it's something about a toilet being separated from the rest of the bathroom that really does it. What room did you call this yesterday? I mean, it's not a water closet. A water closet. I'm gonna Google it because I don't want to keep calling it a toilet room. That sounds <laughs> silly. No it sounds low budget. First of all, this room is huge. Like my arms. We almost have a full Aaliyah wingspan in this room. <laughs> a oh, look at <laughs> Baby, I have a linen closet. I have never had a linen closet as I lived on my own. It's always towels under the bathroom sink, towels in the closet. And we have a designated spot for cleaning stuff and towels and anything that needs to be in this damn bathroom. Like, Me too. it's big, like it's deep, mind you. Y'all don't know how big I am, but. She big. <laughs> <laughs> Not big enough. Um, I would say it's almost a full arm's length. Um, at least for me, I'm five feet tall, five one. I don't know how you would compare that to my arm size, but there's also a light that goes over the shower, giving a real spa moment. Um, aside from the dirty towels hanging over the side. Just a few extra rooms. I always want to call this my guest room or guest bathroom, but the name Maya's bathroom and Maya's room always comes out because she spends most time with me on the weekends. Bathroom has two sinks again. You know what I thought was weird? Why is the toilet holder so damn far from the, the toilet? toilet <laughs> like literally look how far it is. Like imagine you're going to the bathroom and you have to, to get the toilet paper. Like, I don't know, I think it's sick. Y'all, she's getting paid. <laughs> I don't know, that's right. No free labor in this house, especially for minors. <laughs> I'm not going to jail tonight. Can you think of any rapid fire questions that anybody might ask? How much it costs? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? What's the neighborhood? And um, there's coordinates now. <laughs> this house feels like home already and I've been here for not even a week. The reason I decided to buy a home was really just because if you looked at the current market for housing and renting right now, I got such a better bargain being in a home instead of renting an apartment because in Charlotte right now, like a two bedroom to three bedroom apartment in the area I wanted would be like, no less than like $2,800. And I do not pay nearly that for all my expenses. Like I'm talking mortgage, bills. I also think it's such a much better financial decision because as much as I love high rises and floor to ceiling windows, I love an apartment as much as the next person, but I decided to be a little bit smarter with my money this time around. And I get to keep this forever. Like I get to do whatever I want with it. I could live here if I want to move away for a year. I could literally do that, put this up for rent. And then when that year is done, I could always come back. Um, if I want to sell it, I can sell it and turn around and do something crazy if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't know. I love this house. Do you like the house? I'm very excited to decorate and make this home a home. It's huge. Maya uses the word big. 
My boyfriend uses the word huge. My mom used the word humongous. <laughs> I'm gonna say the sappy thing. I wouldn't have been able to do this without y'all. Um, I was so blessed and graced. Can I say graced? Graced with this opportunity, blessed with this opportunity to have a job like this because not a lot of 20 year olds are doing things such as this and I am so grateful for that. I've literally turned 21 and graduate college in May and I literally own my first home. It's insane. I feel like I don't say thank you enough but I wanna thank y'all so much because literally without this platform and this job, I would not be able to have paid for this, let alone pay for it for the next couple years or even have the opportunity to look into something as gorgeous and new and just homey as this and yeah, that's my little spiel. With that being said, I'm gonna shut up now and we will see you at the next video on Sunday. And I decided last minute, instead of a bunch of mini moving vlogs, they're just gonna get collective moving vlogs because y'all love the longer videos. And somebody told me if my videos were not an hour, they didn't want it. I cannot make this shit up. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. Say bye. That's call me if you get lost with it all. Put the deuces up. <laughs> Put the deuces up, Cashew. Um, anyway, that's it. Bye, y'all.